Oh, we unmuted. Oh, you might be able to hear me. Hello. How are we all doing? Right, I'm just going to finish setting the stream up. We're going to go live. We're going to be live till about half seven today, so a little bit earlier. Um, I just want to tweet out that we are live. Bear with me one second and I'll be with you. How are we doing? We all well? Oh, let's come off of that. I don't want to ruin anything that's coming up. <laughs> what did we think of the first episode of Rivals Evolved? People seem to be enjoying it so far. Good. Can I be in one today? I'm going to be honest. Today, I want to try and get the one with Bienu done. I promised to do him yesterday. But... Well, let's see. Let's see if he turns up. I couldn't stream yesterday in the end. If he doesn't come into the stream, we can do your one today. If not, you'll be the next one on after Bienu, which will be probably tomorrow, hopefully. Or maybe not, because Man United are on, aren't they? Monday, if not. So yeah, if not today, it'll be Monday for certain. I'll make a note as well, don't worry. How are you feeling ahead of the game tomorrow? Also, can I just ask? Because you changed your name on here, right? Are you was you um was you unbreakable games? Unwreckable games? Am I right in thinking that? Is it Remel now? You was unwreckable. How do you want me to address you going forward? Do you want me to address you as Remel? Am I saying that right? Yeah? Okay, cool. Cool, no problem at all. We can do that for sure. Right, what I really want us to try and focus on, I think we can beat West Ham. It's going to be tough, isn't it? I mean, oh, I don't know. We, we never really do that well against West Ham history would suggest but if we play like we did the other night if it's like the first half then yeah we should absolutely beat them um my worry is we're not putting enough of the chances away we're creating more which is good that's brilliant but putting the chances away was oh man we should have been out of sight in that game before there was any flipping dodgy penalty decisions going on, it shouldn't have even been close. By the way, we are now playing a 4 3 2 1. And it's, I've got to be honest, it's quite nice in game. Anthony on that left, and I quite like Welbeck on the right as well. Yeah, it's decent. So, I think. What do we even need to do for Maybury? Win one more and assist four more. Okay. Hey, destroyed. 
Hey, Jamran, two offside goals were really unlucky, to be fair. They were. I mean, you had Casemiro's, wasn't it? And who was the other one? Was it Hoyland? I feel like we played really well, but like genuinely. Hope you guys are all doing good, by the way. Um, Yeah, we did play really well. It was just, we should have been out of sight. And I've said this on here before, and I think I've said it in videos. There's an Evo leaked. What is it? Um, Onana at set pieces really worries me. Really worries me. Especially with corners and crosses in the box. He just doesn't come out and claim anything. No requirements. Your Martinez sexual. <laughs> Man, I told you that guy is unreal. Genuinely. When you guys were in here the other day asking me who my favourite players are in real life, that was why he was one of them. He is insane. And again, he never hides away from anything. I'm just waiting to see. What have we got until 6pm? We've got 8 minutes. And I'm waiting to see if Bienu joins. Because if he doesn't, then... Remo, we can do you today. That's not a problem. This team could push for top four. As long as we don't get any injuries, yeah, I agree with you. We could. It's on foot police leaks, but I don't understand it. All right, let me have a look. Let's bring you guys over, shall we? Oh, you're not seeing nothing yet. Uh... Bear with me one sec, guys. Be there. Cool. All right. Who was it? Foot police leaks, yeah? What have we got here, then? This one. Max 88 UCL Road to the Knockout Evolution. Since the rarity is UCL road to knockout, you open league and conference for league, don't see yeah. it. Yeah, so what he's saying there is, yeah, it would have to be, I don't know how they're going to code this because knowing EA can only go one way, but you would have to be a club that's in the UCL still. And he's saying the Europa League and Conference League players wouldn't fit. Again, I don't know how they're going to code that. Anyway, let's head back over here. Two goal line appearances. Anana is a lucky man. Sorry, but he's such a liability. Yeah, man, I completely agree with you. And welcome, by the way, because I don't remember seeing you in the stream before. Um, Yeah, he's a very much a liability. Hey, man, what's up? Hope the family's doing better. Thank you very much. My dad's still very ill. Um... It's just, it's that time of year, you know? We don't know if it's COVID or if it's flu or what, but yeah, he's rough. But I appreciate the love and support. Won't affect the RTG. Unfortunately, it won't. How are you doing, Skeletor, by the way? Hope you're doing well. I know this is, like, extremely boring, but should we jump into a quick squad battles game and get uh, Mabry done? Because we'll be done just after six. Let's do it. And I can still chat with you guys at the same time. Better than looking at a blank screen, right? Honestly, guys, I recorded uh, tomorrow's episode of Rebuild United. And I swear, I've come up against possibly the best team I've ever played. Genuinely. It, the one yesterday was also insane. Um, the one where the guy had like Donny van der Beek and... Donny van der Beek? We had Donny. What am I talking about? Uh, the team of the year team, essentially. It was flipping... Yeah, this one is different levels to me. Future Stars is a two-week promo, so 
Mainu and Gonetsha might both get one. I hope so. They both deserve one. Have they leaked any players yet? The only one I saw was Cole Palmer from Chelsea, but I don't know if they've leaked anyone else. I was talking to Varun the other day when the game was on, and I'll be honest, I was fuming when we went free all. I was pissed at the penalty. Don't get me wrong, that was never a penalty. What they're looking at when they see that is a joke. Um, but it was like Ange Postacoglu genuinely took over from us from a game because what we did, we were three two up with a few minutes to go, and everyone was forward. Like, what are we doing? Then they counter-attack and score. That was so frustrating, but like, genuinely. But Kobe Mainu steps up because he's an absolute G and scores an absolute worldie. Love to see it. Bear with me one second, guys. Oh, nearly. Came across your channels. I'm doing a Man United past and present since this game is year is horrible. You're absolutely right about that. It's horrific. And you know what makes it worse? I will read the rest of your comment out in a minute. Um, the fact that what, what makes it worse is EA are literally stiffing us left, right and centre. Or um, with the Messi. Did you guys see the road to the final that they gave people? The 98 rated card, I want to say he was. What the fuck? Is that? Oh, honestly. Uh, anyway. <laughs> the Nigerian striker or whatever he was. I'm sick of using the same players. Do you know what? That's why Evos and stuff make it fun. Thank fuck for Evo. Exactly. Great content, by the way. I really appreciate that. And thank you for joining. Harry. Oh, as if. Luke. Oh, come on now. Neto should be in the Olympics with that dive. Yeah, you're not joking. He won the gold medal. Did you not hear? Honestly. Only Palmer and Rodman from the NWL are leaked so far. Do you know what's weird, right? Leaks are coming out for that already. And this promo's only just started. And... I actually, I would argue this with a lot of people. I actually think they've given us a better card than most team of the years already. That Tony Cruz centre mid card. Oh my word. Now the reason I'll argue it's better than most team of the years. It's got anticipate plus and long ball plus. Like you must be off your head. What are they doing? And it's a live card that can get a further play style plus. Let's be honest, Madrid are probably going to go far in the tournament. Oh, mate. What are they thinking? Tell me if it's just me, please, because that's fucking... What was he? Uh, is he three mil or something? There's a reason why. Kimmich SBC also looks really good. He does as well, yeah. Isn't he like 400k? On in. Oh. Yeah, that's to me 400k is insanely cheap because again, you know, buying are going to go far. The thing with Cruz, genuinely, I know people are going to say Man City. I actually fancy Real Madrid to win it. I had put a bet on them at the start of the season to win it. They were the team that I thought I know they didn't have the striker, but. Just Real Madrid in Europe, man. You know what they're like. No. Oh. If anyone's watched it as well, what did you guys think of Rivals Evolved? You can see them pushing for it with Bellingham. So can I. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you just said that as well. Um... What did you make of that whole Jude Benham and Greenwood thing? 
I can see them push it. Uh, sorry, read that one already. When Earp shot up in value, I sold off 200k and bought back 150. Yeah, I saw that. It was well weird, wasn't it? Well weird. With all the store packs, have a feeling they might get rid of the market in the near future. Do you know why I don't think they ever would? Because Pro Evo basically have done that and it just didn't really work the same. If Pro Evo had a market, I feel like that game would be played a hell of a lot more. Genuinely. Don't new series though. Love that. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed it. The support Greenwood gets is insane. Do you know what? I know. And I do think to myself, if that was... I'm not saying, just for clarity, that any of these players would do what Greenwood was alleged to do. I'm not saying that he did do it. Um, if that was someone like Scott McTominay, Harry Maguire, who else? Johnny Evans. Um, I mean, look, you get the idea. Name a player that's 50-50 when it goes to popularity within the fan base. Would they get as much love and support from a section of our fans? I'm going to go with no. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. Look, it's a, it's a complicated situation and ultimately, the club have got to make their decision because I've never seen the fan base this divided on something. You know, football and morals, but yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, apparently he went back to her, didn't he? And isn't she now pregnant or something as well? Or did they have the baby? I don't know. I might be getting that bit wrong, but I thought that was the case. They have a baby? Yeah, I thought they did. Look, at the end of the day... Only they know, right? They... It's not for us to comment. It's a, It was a very serious thing that happened. It was a horrible thing that allegedly happened. And only they know. I mean, look, from if I'm Mason Greenwood, the one thing I probably want to go and do right now is just go and play football. Get my head down and play football. Um... So, oh, nice finish from Welbeck. Yeah, I don't blame him for that, to be honest. I do understand it. If I'm in Manchester United shoes, I would want to be 100% certain that we was we was all good, basically. Um, yeah, that that's all I would really say on that. We all saw the backlash, so. I'll be honest, mate, our fan base, fan base is one of the worst when it comes to Player FC. You're absolutely spot on with that. I hate it myself. Look, at the end of the day, I will never, ever tell anyone how to support their football club. What I would say is, for me, if I see a player that's not performing or has got the wrong attitude, I will call it out. Yeah, because if you want to wear this shirt and if you want to rake in hundreds of thousands of pounds a week, and yet your attitude stinks or you don't want to put in a performance, then get out. We pay your wage. We love our club. And yeah, we, we're not here for that. If you're here, you're putting a shift in, but you're not quite good enough. We'll still like you, but <laughs> we will also call you out for saying you're not good enough. Do your bit. You know, at the end of the day, Man United don't just go and poach anyone. And we'll be good. Respect the fans. Don't be like... And you guys might remember this. I can't remember. Was it Fulham? One of the teams when they were at the hotel. Oh, hello. Um, One of the teams at the hotel ignoring fans as they were on their way to the bus. Don't do none of that shit. You wear the Man United badge in your old chest. And yeah, just show some respect and do your bit. All it's got to be. Um, 
Morals go out the window for them. I'll carry on reading your comment. Getting distracted. <laughs> um, so yeah, morals go out the window for them. The player they support can do no wrong, whether it's Greenwood, Martial, Rashford, etc. You're absolutely right. I couldn't agree with you more. To be honest, he was good at... To be honest, he's been good at that. He has avoided controversy so far. Yeah, I understand that. I do get that. 85 player picks come out, have they? We're going to go and have a look at the 6pm stuff now. It was Leicester. I think it was actually. You could be right. It could have been Leicester. Yeah, because they were in trouble and they were saying like, at least see your fans. Yeah, I think it was. But yeah, we don't want none of that shit. That's, that's not Man United, man. And all this stuff about the leaks and stuff coming out of the dressing room, that's got to stop. Either leave it in the past or just genuinely fuck off out the club. Right. It's gone 6pm. What have we got? Oh. Meant to check new Evos. Probably none is there. Superpowers. Oh, wow. Now we've got no hero. Oh, man. Does Yaya fit into that? Because remember, we put him into Bruno. Not that we would have used him. The physical might be the one that does him. Oh, it's a striker. Doesn't matter. What's the actual upgrade? One pace, two shooting, two dribbling, one physical. That's a decent upgrade as well, you know. It's Berbatov fit in. We may have to go and have a look at that in a minute. Uh, right, let's have a look at SBCs. What have we got? Said the 85 player pick was back. Ollie as well. Yeah, forgot about Ollie. What's that? That's new. High efficiency. That's back. That's dreadful value. What else we got? Ole Fiat. How much is this going to cost? 84 rated squad. Do you know what? I can see why they've done this. Because 84s are on the floor. So that actually makes sense. Need a right back evolution badly. My Aaron Wambsacker is holding on for dear life. I feel your pain. We've got um, the low. And yeah, he needs an upgrade desperately. That's not bad for an 85 player pick. Because it's on the floor. And it would inject some value back into them on the market. The problem I've got with it is, realistically, what is there for us to pack? A bit dead, isn't it? Ollie gets 92 shit. Does he actually? Oh, boy. You know what we're going to do? We're going to head over to here. Let's go and have a look at... Uh... But GG. I bet it's gone down, hasn't it? Do you know what I still need to do as well? I need to find a way of popping the chat out to come with me. Uh, I may need to talk to Varun about that. Bear with me one sec, guys. Just trying to I've moved the chat and it's gone wrong. Oh, hello. Right, there we go. Right, so if we head over into Evos. Oh, Ollie looks nice, man. Does Berber fit? Where is he? Oh, Berbatov. It's not bad. I mean, 
Four land as well was an ex past and present. Oh, four land indeed at a past and present. Look at that. What do we even put on him? Engine. Quite like an engine. Or would you go Hawk? Hawk's nice as well. Four, four. Hey, Bienu, how you doing? Four land does look insane. So it's either Fall at uh, Berbatov, Fallan, or where's Ole gone? Am I being blind? He's down there. I was being blind. Or it's this card here. Right. If we compare him. All right, try that again then. Oh. What am I doing? There we go. Now, if we compare him to this card, right? This card is 41,000 coins. Realistically, is it that much better? And they've got the same playstyle plus. Like, there's a bit of a difference, but nothing overly major. Paul Lane is a shout here for the RTG. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Bourbon not worth it. Yes, first touch already. We had a playstyle plus. Yeah, you're right. So if I compare. Fallen. Power shot and first touch. That's nice. The fact this card's so cheap, I think we have to go Fallen. I bet he's gone flipping expensive as well, isn't he? 50k. He's extinct. You know. Imagine that. We will pop over to FC and see if we can get one. But yeah, I think it's got to be Forlan. I would say Evo is even worse. Has less playstyles. Do you think? I actually think that's quite a decent Evo for 100k. Doesn't look that better. No, Thingy's not worth it. Soul Shell's not worth doing. You might as well just go and buy the UCL one for 40k. You've got a tradable one to sell. Uh, right, where is Forlan? Yeah, of course. Why am I going 200 points? Yeah. Got to go back in 20, 30 minutes. When come back if I can do... Uh, probably going to be Monday, like I said to you earlier, Realm. Remel, even, sorry. I'm going to see if Bionu wants to do one tonight. There was an SBC pick for Heroes. What does that come out? How much is it? Uh, what, this 87 plus? How much is that? 83 and 85 with an inform. Is it worth building a couple for the RTG? What do we think? Think it's worth doing? I'm just closing down a couple of tabs. Right, cool. Best does not need 85s. I don't think we've even got any 85s, to be honest. But George Best, I've done up to and including the 286s now. So we've got 286s left, 487s, 388s and 89. Not too bad. 
All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to craft one. And yeah, it can go in. Won't be in tomorrow's video. It'll be in the one after. So I'm just going to record a piece for the video, guys. Uh, actually, let's start off on the Evo screen, shall we? And I'm going to mute the music for one sec. All right, guys, we finally have a new evolution in the game. Feels like we've waited ages for another one to come up. It is a paid Evo and it is purely for heroes only. Um, we've had a look through and I'm going to go now and I'm going to show you the differences in the cards. The one I think is the best for us is Forlan. Now he's currently extinct at 50k. So what we're going to do is there's a player pick in the SBC section. And what we are going to go and do is this one here. No, it's not that one. Chat, what one was it? This one, wasn't it? It's an 83 rated squad with Nymform and an 85. So what we're going to go and do, we're going to go and build one of these and see if we can get a Diego Fallen out of it. Let's go. Right, just remember that I need to hit record it again. <laughs> Imagine if we do this. Oh, sorry, I just knocked the mic there. Imagine if we do this and then don't hit record. Oh, I'll be fuming. Uh, let's put the music back on for you guys for a second. Now, genuinely, the 85 squad would be the worry. I'll do this and then Bienu, if you want to jump into a game, I can do that with you. It's only going to be a shorter stream tonight. I want to at least get out of here by about half seven. Can we do this? Oh, I don't know, you know. May have to put in like... Who do we have to put in? Uh... Course we're 84 rated. 15 minutes or so. Yeah, that's no issue at all, man. Guys, who do we put in here? <laughs> Unless I put in like a bigger inform, because let's be honest, we're generating them picks quite easily. I don't really want to get rid of Jack Relish or Harlan because we can get some easy packs out of them. Would Araujo do it? He does. Okay. What about an 86? Uh, will she do it? I might have to send that. I'm not going to lie. All right. Screw it. Let's do that. Them picks on the store are so easy to generate. The team of the week ones. That, yeah, we can... We can get so many more informs. Now this is easy. This is an 83. So we can get rid of low end informs here. Your big can go. Because you know, why not? Banter in that. No, we don't want it stuck on goalkeeper. There we go. What I should have seen as well. You know that player pick that come out tonight? The 85 one. How long is that there for? Because I wouldn't mind saving them up for future stars. Only problem is once you build one, you have to commit to it. Uh, oh, we need an 82. Because you won't be able to open packs without... Um, yeah, without doing that. Without opening them. All right, let's record this up. All right, guys, we have done it. Now, if we're going to get Forlan, do not give me the triple threat one. I think it's triple threat that you got. Um, 
because he wouldn't fit into it. It has to be their base card. Let's see if we can do it. I'm hoping we can. Forlan would be the one. Oh, I had Thiago Silva I should have used as well. Damn it. Here we go. Are we going to get a Forlan? No. Oh. Now, this is annoying, right? Because Viali is actually good in game, but it don't actually matter to us in the slightest. We'll take Viali because he's highest rated. What a shame. All right, guys, let's get on with the rest of the video. Damn, chat. I thought we had a chance there. Getting Viali as well. Who's also going extinct. Could you imagine? I bet he... Oh, I need to go and look at him in the Evo. Got their Traitor Tevez. His UCL version 2 from that. Had to put him in the XL, but as soon... Yeah, I get that. I get that. I'm not a fan of Tevez either. Some United fans still don't mind him, but yeah. I still have images of him in that Man City shirt. Like an absolute ass. Uh, I don't want SBCs. I want Evos. What was it? Superpowers. Oh, he does as well. Oh, man, look at that. That's like one of the best ones, surely. All right, balance is a little low at 82, but. Oh, that's mental. And again, he's only three star skills, but. Oh, that's filthy. Why, why, why? <laughs> You know, I knew when I started this series and when we committed to Man United only, I knew shit like this was going to happen. And if it had happened last week when we got a team of the year, I would have been devastated, genuinely. But that's a decent card right there. Does he look good as well, does he? I don't, oh, actually, is that the Uruguayan guy? I think it is. I think I saw him earlier. I'm just checking now. That's who I'm thinking. Damn, that Melito looks decent as well, you know. Yeah, it is who I'm thinking. Yeah, that's a nice card. Just make sure you guys have been brought over with me. You haven't. That's a really, really nice card. Not even going to lie. Do you know what else caught my eye? 97 shooting, man. What is that? That's filth. Obviously, you're not going to put nothing on him to boost shooting, right? Do you imagine this card? Oh, look at that. Even got good curves, so you know the finesse shots would be good. Travella is a playstyle as well. Power shot. Oh, man. I know this might not be the most popular opinion. That might be my favourite card I've seen. Papan. Morientes looks insane as well. Oh, look at Brolin. Hang on a minute. Wow. All right, the only issue would be the stamina at 82 is a little bit low. That's a nice card. Robbie Keane as well. Holy. Do you know what this feels like it is? And I know some of them got UCL cards anyway. But this is boosting some of the ones without UCL cards up to that sort of standard. Even beyond it because of the playstyle pluses. Oh, see now, Robbie Keane straight away. I know his shooting's good. However, with the physicals the way they are. Yeah, nice pace. Boost that shooting up. Boost the physicals up and really nice dribbling as well. Who else have we got? Crouch is still dead. Cahill's dead.
Gomez is okay. Three star, four star. Still think this card's nice as well. If you're someone like me, I like to cross the ball a lot. How tall is he? Isn't he like six foot something? That is a nice card. 95 jumping as well, 96 heading. Mental scenes, boys. Absolutely mental. And, I, yeah, I mean... Oh, do you know, Forlan at centre forward. Oh, Forlan at centre forward could be the one. Because you guys won't necessarily know this yet. Thanks to the stream, mate. Need to go. Hoping future stars gives us Hoyland, Mainu and Garnacho. Fingers crossed, man. Thank you so much for coming. And hopefully see you again soon. Um, we head back over here. Yeah, you guys might not have seen this yet, but we've actually moved into the 4 3 2 1. Which is nice, not gonna lie, really nice. Now, I'm gonna do this against Bienu. So, we are gonna take out Maybury. Who do I play against him? Do we go Mainu? I think we will. Right, I'm gonna intro the video against uh, BNU now. What team are you using, BNU? Just so I know. Man United? You use United? Okay, cool. Uh, and you sent me a link to your team the other day, didn't you? Just trying to see if I've still got it. Should have. You're going to be using the one with Schmeichel and goal, yeah? You send me an updated one soon. Okay, cool. I think I'll do the intro after. It tends to be a bit easier with the intro. You know what while we're waiting let's see if we can get a four land shall we bet we can't i'll pay the 100k i have no issue with that at all where is diego no not e <laughs> four land he's just gonna be extinct the whole time isn't he No! Fucking hell. I bid on that as well, nearly. Because his other card was... Um, I've just realised it was untradeable, wasn't it? It was an SPC. Come on now. Wait a few days and he'll be on the market. Do you think he will? I hope so. Yeah, 
All right. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Unless there's someone that's super overpowered and they just stay extinct. But yeah, other than that, they tend to. My hope is now, because they've actually done this and they've given an Evo out with, you can have a Playstyle Plus and gain another one. I hope they start doing it for more players because honestly, why can't we just go and upgrade a Rashford? Like, I don't get it. Why can't we stick Varane into one? You've got flipping broken Evos where you've got players running around with four or five playstyle pluses, but 99 rated. And they're worried about things like someone being overpowered. Really? Even before all of that, they gave out a flipping Darwin Nunes on day one. Come on. Let's have some fun. The game's already fucked. We all know it. Also, guys, you may not have seen, but we have... Uh, hang on. Bear with me. I'll go to here. We have started a second channel. Um, now, at the minute, there's nothing on it. I've got a video going up overnight, so it will be uploaded for tomorrow. Um, this is going to be... It's non-FIFA related, non-FC related, purely other games. Um, I've done a recording of The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, not the story. What's the other thing called? The new thing. Oh, flipping it. No return. So if you guys are interested in any other gaming, there's a channel. So, yeah. Quick little shout out for that. Uh, oh, my chat's gone funny again. Right, let's head back to there. I really need to try and pick Varun's brain about OBS. Put link in the chat. No problem at all. I'm ready and sent you a pick on Twitter. Okay, perfect. I will be with you in one second. If you, that should hopefully be a clickable link. Because I've just copied and pasted a link, but it's not letting me click it. <laughs> Know what we'll do? Uh, that's the wrong flipping channel ID. What am I doing? It isn't. Why? Well, it's not working. Damn it. I don't understand because I've literally just copied and pasted that link into the chat. All right, hang on. If I type, if I give you this. If you go on to YouTube and copy and paste that, that's the channel I do. Check if it works. Okay, no problem. Yeah, that's what I thought as well, BNU. But I don't know how you enable that. Because I've done it the normal way of creating a second channel. It's under the same email and everything. Um, 
but it doesn't pop up as a second channel. I don't know why. I don't know if there's something in the settings I need to change or what. Right, either way, you said you sent me your team. Oh, hang on. Sub to it. Thank you very much, Destroyed. Appreciate that. Like I say, there is a Last of Us 2 coming tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoy that one. A little bit rusty because I've not played in a couple of years now. Uh, right, Twitter. Updated Evo team. Fantastic. But I'm going to record the bit just before we go into the game. All right, guys, you are going to see Bienu's team on screen right now. He's got Tim Lee and Mary Earps, wan Lindelof, Maguire, Malassia, Mainu, Bruno, Anthony, Hoyland, Martial, and of course, Garnacho. Looks very nice indeed. That Hoyland card is always a pain to play against, and I wish we could get hold of him. And also, he's got a Mainu card that's much better than mine, so I'm jealous because I want it. Either way, let's get into a game, shall we? Alright, cool. I can just... I can just uh, hit carry on recording when we start. Looking forward to it. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support from you guys. You always kill it. Bid how to link another channel. Yeah, I'm going to do that off stream. And I'll try and get everything set up. I haven't even got any um, graphics or stuff done for the channel yet. I literally just... I've wanted to put other games on. And I never knew whether to do it on this channel. Or on a different one. And I want this to ideally be FC stuff. And Man United stuff. So I thought let's make a plays channel. Uh, right. Bienu. I will invite you in. Before we go in. Do you want to make sure your cat doesn't unplug your Ethernet cable again? <laughs> uh, right. Play a friend. Bienu. Makes sense. Yeah, I thought so. I'm just kidding, Bienu. Right, Max Kim. Should hopefully have that invite. Oh, you're in. All right, guys, here we go then against Bienu. And I need to turn the music off while I remember. There we go. Now, this is the first Man United against Man United team we're coming up against. So this will be interesting to see how it goes. Score predictions in the chat. I know Bienu is a good player, so I think we're going to struggle here. Not going to lie. Would well, be interesting trying out the 4 3 2 1 now as well? Here we go. Oh, God, the lag's already starting. 3 3. Oh, Destroll's going for a, a big goal scoring game. Love that. Well, the front three have a really good understanding this ball. Oh. No, oh, man. Do you know what? He took a weird touch. I should have hit that, really. Oh, nice. And a bake. Oh, come on now. Love that. Oh, well, Beck. See, he knows as well. He's got Maguire. And also, actually, you know, wasn't you someone that said Varane was better? Or are you trying Maguire again? Oh, no, come on. What I would do for a good Lindelof card. Actually, in all honesty, probably not a lot because I like my centre-backs. What I would do for a Maguire Evo, as in the player of the month Evo, I would do a hell of a lot for that. Give him anticipate plus. Come on, EA, you know you want to. 
Oh, he's going friendly, boys. Oh, that's why. Anthony with the Traveller. GG's. Good goal. Come on. Trying to find some space. Very compact. Go on, Shaw. Oh, lags back again. Danny Welbeck going for the spectacular. Come on now. What's your passing on Lindelof? Oh, my word. Thank you very much, Mary Earps. Go on. Ah, no. Honestly, someone was saying it earlier. We need a right back Evo. Because that Wambasak is annoying for one. And two, we need the low up. We really need to get the low rated higher. Hoyland. Trying that from there. Mary Oaks would never allow that. Watch it go and happen. Love it. Oh, Ref, he dived. He dived, Ref. What are you talking about? I was just waiting for that to pop up and say red card. I would have gone mad. Yellow, fair enough, but it's not a red. Oh, good tackle again from Wambasaka. No, nope. Martial's just done me. 86 pass on, so what's that? Lindelof. This against Bienu, it is indeed. Now we need to get back into this. Come on now. It's a shame about this lag, but I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. Boyland. Oh, what is going on, boys? Vienna is 3 0 up within 31 minutes or 32 minutes. Struggling to do anything with the ball at the minute, that's for sure. Oh man, I've just taken out Maguire. Not a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Come on. And a throw in forthcoming. Oh frustrations right now. Danny. Let's go, Danny. 3 1. The stroll is still on. That 3 3 you called is still on. Hey, Varun, how are you? Getting battered right now by Bienu. Love that. Anthony. And they need to get tighter. Bruno Fernandes. Mallard. Oh, I should have. That was poor from me there. Not going to lie. And 
<laughs> Mary Earp's coming in with the header. Love to see it. Why didn't she just catch that? That's so weird. Kobe. Oh. Is that a pen? I didn't really see what happened. I saw the... Oh, man. All right. Oh, he knows, boys. He knows where I go. Should have mixed that up there, shouldn't I? Well, one thing is for certain, it's been an entertaining game so far. Who's playing who? I'm playing Bienu at the minute. We're doing another episode of Rivals Evolved. Keep forgetting my own series name. How bad is that? That penalty miss feels like it could be massive. Oh, no. I know where you're going to go as well. I know what you're going to try and do, and I can't stop it. No. No. What am I doing? Panicking. Lindelof failed, did he? Okay, I didn't see that. I was so focused on trying to get the shot away. But you still come up clutch with a save. Nice from Martinez. Love that. No, not into him, Anthony. Run away. Love that, Maguire. Come on now. No. Ah. Oh. Uh, thank you. I was going to say. If you let that in, I would have been fuming. Anthony. Referee. I've got no real options on. Damn. I was trying to ping it to Mallard. And we've given the ball straight back up. No. Nope. May need to make some subs, boys. Not going to lie. We're rim at the minute. I'm going to have to bring on Garnacho. Oh, he's hit the post. I thought that was in all day long. I thought that was going to be game over right there. And the move break down. Well, so close to extending their lead there. Just a Great ping. Look at that. Lovely control as well. In the box. The oh, we couldn't get the head on it. I sound like Gary Neville a little bit then. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Well, they promised. I still find that one of the weirdest pieces of commentary ever. He was getting excited over his not, not even his own team. Like, come on now. Ah, oh, come on. No. Oh, it's 4 1. That will be game. We're still going to try. Uh, we're going to bring off Minu. Bring Ericsson on. Do you know what? Because his stam is a bit dead. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Got to be honest, that Donny card, there's a couple of little flaws with him. And Martial's got some nice stats, by the way. Yeah, there's some little things that are wrong with him. And another Evo might be quite nice, not going to lie. Oh, what is that? Oops, thank you very much. I see that ball. Let's go. Wait, I, just, I haven't brought on flipping Garnacho, have I? What a moron. Honestly, what am I doing? Nice, sure. 
to the final 20 minutes. Love that. Great ball from Anthony. He's found Garcia. Garcia, let's go. Come on now. Might not be over just yet, boys. Can we come back into it? Or is Bienu going to just wipe the floor with us? Told you he's a decent player. I don't think I'm doing myself any favours at the minute, but... I keep panicking with my defenders and dragging them all out of position. Nice. Oh, what is that for a ball? That's where we need that the low Evo. Delightful pass. No. Oh shit! <laughs> Again, I was panicking. That could be a red. I was gonna say, no way we just get away with that. Oh, he's hit the bar. Keep up. Thank you. My word. And we've thrown it straight back to him. Not good. Yeah, not good. Oh, being punished for silly mistakes. Come on, Garcia. Nice. Come on. Fortunately. Hang on. We could be in. Well back. Oh, Marriott's with a save. Unfortunately, we've just not quite been there, have we? Been a bit of a struggle this game. I did change formation earlier on, and we went into the 4 3 3 4. But ultimately, I've been pulling defenders out. I don't know why I've been doing it. That's a foul. And I will say it again that penalty miss, I feel, was mega. Because at 3 2 at half time. Could have been a different game. Who knows? Oh. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Oh, I was trying to get one more back for us, but that is going to be it. GG to BNU. Good game. Like I say, I never really competed there and you definitely turned up. So fair play. What we're going to go and do, guys, is we're going to go and jump over to the squad screen and we're going to review the two squads. So let's go. Well done, BNU. I'd like to say it was close, but it wasn't really. <laughs> I still think the penalty miss from me was uh, a big game changer right there. Yeah, that lag was, I don't know where that's come from, but I don't know. It was fine all day. Same happened to you versus Paul Key. Oh, really? It was fine all day. And then the last couple of games I went into earlier, um, it was really, really poor. And I've reset the internet and everything. I don't know what, what's causing the issue. He smashed you? Yeah, he told me he was 5-0 up, wasn't he? I'm just going to rename that so I don't lose the footage. The only thing I'm going to say, BNU, I'm going to have to rewatch that. And I don't know how much lag there was. If there's too much, we may have to re-record if that's okay. Um, but hopefully it may be okay to use. Fine with you. Okay, cool.
what I would do. Um, I've promised I'm going to play Ramil on Monday. I don't think there's going to be a stream tomorrow because what we've got tomorrow is obviously Man United West Ham. There'll be a video up on the main channel of Rebuild United and there will also be a Last of Us Part 2 video on the second channel as well. So, yeah, probably won't be a stream, but there will still be plenty of content for you guys to watch. That's for sure. What what do we all think for the game tomorrow? Do we fancy United to get the win? I do have my doubts, but I just hope we play as good as the other night. One thing I would say, he needs to start... He needs to start that same sort of team again. Hoyland's been killing it, you know. Genuinely, can we put a bit of respect on Rasmus's name? Like... Yeah, and of course we're at home. It's at Old Trafford. We need to be winning. There's no excuses. Hoyland is doing great. And I was talking to Varun on Twitter the other day. He started to get the ball exactly the point I was going to make. We've actually started passing to him. Imagine. And you know what? His goal the other night, it was scrappy, but I loved it. I think he actually scored it with his chest. Even if we don't pass, he just takes it. I mean, I think he sort of got to that state where he's he knows he has to at times. Ganacho has been very good at passing the ball. See, now I'm going to disagree to an extent. Across the season, he doesn't pass enough. But on the game the other night, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. He was passing much better. He was defending much better. I thought he was brilliant. Like the goal against Spurs. Yeah, with Rashford, wasn't it? And he ran into Rashford. We win tomorrow, we can go up to fifth and Tottenham has dropped points. Didn't they draw in the end? He just joined the ball from Rashford. Yeah, that's it. Aston Villa is wiping the floor with Sheffield. I mean, what is the score? But it's hardly a surprise, is it? Sheffield United are terrible. No offence if any Sheffield United fans does watch this. I'd be shocked if you did. Uh, oh, I'm getting no websites come up. 5-0 last time you checked? Mental. You was talking about last game. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. But you know what? It's not just it's not just gone actually that does this. Like Anthony's the same. Um Luton drew in Newcastle 4-4. Are you serious? I genuinely haven't seen any scores. I knew the Tottenham game ended in a draw. Other than that, I didn't see any scores. Luton 4-0 with Newcastle. That's mental. Luton at home. It must be at home. They were away. No way did they go to St. James's Park. Mental scenes. Fair play, Luton. Everyone said Luton would go down and they're the 16th from the table. They did say that. Doing better every week. They, do you know what? They seem to have come into a world of their own. Can't even lie. They were 4-2 up by half time. Who Luton were? Wow. That sounds like some game then. 4-2 at half time and it ended 4-4. They got more points in the last five games than United. Yeah, Sheffield United maybe. Ha! <laughs> no, I know. They would have had more than us. That's not hard though, man. Come on. I think Newcastle was leading 2-1. Meant it. That sounds like some game. I might need to get the highlights up of that. Luton got eight, we got seven. Yeah, I know, but don't really want to go around comparing us to Luton at the minute, do you? 
no disrespect to Luton because, like, you know, from what they want to achieve, they're doing bits. For what we want to achieve, we're not. <laughs> they did slap up Brighton 4 0 as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, fair play to Luton. They've definitely come into Barkley. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot Ross Barkley moved there, didn't he? Do you know what I would say, though, right? They are playing well. They are dirty bastards as well. No, I'm not going to lie. They do love a foul. I watch them when they play at home, and wow. They do love a bit of a rough tackle, don't they? Luton deserves to stay up. If they keep this form up, they will stay up, no doubt. To be honest, you know who I could see going down as a bit of a shock? Palace. And I did call it, before I left YouTube for a bit, I said, I did a Premier League predictions video, and I said, Palace will struggle with goals. Team is honestly not Premier level. This is pure determination. Yeah, completely agree. They've been abysmal. Palace have been shocking. But realistically, who's scoring their goals? We all knew when Zaha left, it weren't going to be easy, was it? Is Elise now injured? Mental. Again, they beat Sheffield United last week, didn't they? Or the other day, whenever it was. Elise and Eze the only creators. Yeah, that's fact. They got battered by Brighton today, did they? What was the score? Roy Hodgson may get the sack. Probably. I mean, look, let's be honest. When Palace went from Vieira back to Roy Hodgson, 4-1. Mad. That's mad, isn't it? Because Luton beat Brighton 4-1, then Brighton beat Palace 4-1. 4-0, uh, sorry. And then Brighton beat Palace. That's mad. Yeah. Um, When they hired Roy Hodgson again, no one really thought, oh, yeah. They're going to play some insane stuff. Although, to be fair, at the end of last season, they were playing some insane stuff, weren't they? Do you know what? Under Vera, they were playing some really, really good football. And then I think he had a big fallout in the dressing room. But it just happened like overnight, didn't it? And they didn't score a goal in, what was it, 17 games or something stupid? Vieira wasn't that good. I mean, when he was playing well, they was playing some good stuff, but ultimately, I think there were some issues there behind the scenes, wasn't there? And let's be fair, Roy is a very defensive manager. Palace is a good squad, a good manager can turn him over. Absolutely. Completely agree. Ipswich 2 not winning. Would have been great to see McKenna with a team in the Prem. Yeah, I know. They were another one. They started so well this season. I mean, so well. Um, and it's all sort of gone wrong quite quickly. But I would have liked to see that as well. Do you know what we can do? Actually, while we're sitting here chatting. I've got a draft team. Uh, I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to go in, throw the game. Oh, I sort of want to play that, though. I mean, I look at that team and I'm like, yeah, I do want to play it. Have we got anyone else who can play right mid? No, I think we'll just jump in like that. What do we reckon? Should we jump into a game and play it? May not finish the whole thing because I've got to be out of here in just over 20 minutes. But we can do a game. Let's do one. I was going to build a new draft with you guys, but yeah, this... 
I see that team again and I'm like, oh, that's mental. A warm welcome to you and thanks for joining us for another game live on EA TV. Guy Mowbray here. What have we got? What are we coming up against? Edison. Oh. Every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. Surely she's getting subbed, right? Left wing. Well, thank yeah, hope so. Do you know what doesn't make sense about doing this? Because she, I don't think she got anyone else chemistry. Whoever he now brings on will have the same chemistry as if they started. They will still get zero chem. Yeah, go on then, Neres. Love that. Who's he bringing on? I didn't even see who that was. Eusebio. Cool. Mind you, you sort of get used to playing against the likes of Eusebio and Hullet and stuff. Come on. Neres is free. Zola. Oh, man. I didn't think I had as much time as what I did. No, Hullet. Come back here. Oh, that. I've never used that Carl Walker card, but it's so broken. My word. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is filth. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe what he's just done. Hello. The Brazilian Scott McTominay scores a goal. Let's go, boys. God damn, he fast. So fast. Oh, no. Be honest. Where was he then? Did I pull him out? I might have. First time using this Zola as well. Can we get a run? Can we please get a run? Love that. Oh, McTominay scores again, boys. Let's go. Didn't know he had it in him. Come on now. We'll take that. Oh, look at... Oh, McTominay with his skills, man. What a good team does to a man. <laughs> Mental, right? I swear, I actually thought that was on. Oh, I love that. Oh, what was that, Neres? Bergkamp, oh my word, what is he doing? I did press shoot there, I'm not going to lie. Nice, Lamptey. Scott. Oh, Scotty too. Hotty makes it. What is that? 3-1. Let's go. Oh, here comes the lag. How many matches of Messi have I faced? Uh, I think I've had two or three so far. One of which was alone, admittedly. What about the rest of the chat, guys? How many have you had? Oh, come on now. So far in qualities, you've only faced one. I mean... It's still probably more one more than what you would have, to be honest. But that's not terrible. Their excuse was piss poor, though. I've got to be honest. Of that. No, don't lag their game. Come on now. Oh, 
Love that verge. Scott McTominay with the hat trick, boys. That's going to be a 4 1 win. Come on. Scott McTominay with the hat trick. I love it. Uh, in finals, I feel like it's going to be so common. He had one shot, look, and scored. Mental. Especially once the first 10 are done. Yeah, once there's some form going, I feel like you are going to see over and over again Messi, especially in that higher form. Also, did you guys see that Fellaini retired, by the way? Sad day for football. <laughs> you think so? Well, he was only 36 as well. I thought he was older than that. Legend of the game. Answer me one question then, right? If he was back in, I don't know, say he was 30 again, would you have him at Man United? No way. <laughs> Didn't think you would. Hell no. <laughs> Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, right? We have our own young Fellaini at Tommy. You mean the Scottish R9? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, McTominay again. <laughs> All right, how about this then? Who's a better player? Scott McTominay or Fellaini? Oh. Oh, how about that? I just realised we've got no music on, have we? I muted it. Sorry, guys. Oh, who would I take out of Scott McTominay or Fellaini? Not asking someone to pick from two turds, in it. It's like asking, do you want to get hit by a brick or a belt? Yeah, exactly. Like cat shit or dog shit. Any of you guys got plans for this evening? You off out anywhere? Doing anything nice? Erp uh, has replaced Michael in your team. Let's go. Farming Evos. Thanks to me. You see how OP she was, yeah? to play persona 3 remaster is that the game that's recently come out i'm not gonna lie i don't know nothing about it but i'm sure i saw a thing on xbox about that the other day If you guys, by the way, if you've got any games you want to recommend for the second channel, by all means, be my guest. I'm happy to give anything a shot. Um, what, what was the other game I wanted to play? Oh, Undisputed, the boxing game. There is a career mode coming in an update on the 11th or 12th, I want to say. So yeah, we'll be doing something like that. By the way, Rabjon is as good as... Is she that good, really? 
Skyora. Since we're on to the discussion, who would you choose? Skulls, Lampard or Gerard? Honestly, right? I'm not going to answer this question. I'm going to let the likes of Javi, Zidane, I think Iniesta also said it. Some of the best midfielders that have ever played the game all said Skulls was the best. Yeah, Distroud knows. No, listen, I won't be biased when it comes to football. I told you guys the other day, one of my favourite midfielders to ever watch was Pirlo. Um, but yeah, so many people have always said Paul Scholes. And do you know what the funniest thing is about that? Out of them three midfielders, he was the one that England played the least. You should do Rab John. What Evo path is that? Is she in the... Played it everywhere. Fast forward. It must have expired. Or is that? Yeah, no, must have expired. As in for putting players into. Because that's the only four Evos available to me. Still need to get this done as well, this Depire. I just realised we did that squad battles game earlier and we didn't do any object uh, assists for Maybury. What we got here? She goes from 63 to 86 with 90 pace, 95 defense with shadow. Wow. Hang on a minute. When did I use Jack Greedish? I am so confused right now. Oh, was that because of the draft? We had Virgil van Dijk. No, never traitor. Never traitor. That was that draft we just played. Look. Uh, online draft. You did on the first day. Yeah, no, I know that. But I was 14 out of 15 on the uh, goals to games. And now we're 15 out of 15. It's because we had this Virgil van Dijk on the draft. That's why. I did the 89. She is so good. Keep up and fast forward. Yeah, a lot of you guys are saying she's a good card. I'm sort of a bit gutted we didn't do it. Is Mallard really good? Look, man, you've seen some of the clips on the channel. For me, she's insane. Every striker, no matter who I've ever used, has missed the odd sitter. But genuinely, I love this card. You're thinking of doing the one with very inform? Yeah, I've not seen the inform one. I saw the one with her. Uh, oh, what was the bloody card called? Bro to the knockout, was it? And that didn't look as good as this one. She does sometimes miss sitters, but they all do. You did it with the inform. Even Danny Welbeck genuinely misses sitters for me at times. This card, though, my word. 9 and 9 in 29 is not the best return, but you know what? Defensively, wow. Card's insane. Such an upgrade on his other card. 
I've been doing 4 3 2 1. That's a new formation. You'll see it tomorrow, Varun. It'll be on the channel. Um, Donny van der Bate, he's good. But yeah, the, the stamina and that is a bit of a letdown. Um, but other than that, he's he's a decent card, definitely. And again, I want a better version of my new man. Now that we've got two playstyle pluses, let me get a better version going. How many games has he played for us? 149. And he's only 77 rated. That's mental. Anyway, what is the times? 20 past 7. Honestly, for the sake of 10 minutes, guys, I might just call the stream here. Um, yeah. You'll wait and see if a minor future stars is leaked. I'm hoping he will be. Minu, Garnacho, and Hoyland, potentially. Do you know what the problem is? As soon as Man United get a special card, though, they're always flipping expensive. He should be in it. Again, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Do you not think? You don't think we get a Garnacho or Hoyland? I mean, I'll be honest. We don't get a lot of love in the promo, so I'm hoping we do. But yeah, no, Minu, Minu would be the first one I would want. Because he would slot very nicely into this team. No, 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 I know you're not going to get all three. I'm just saying, if it's a it's a two-week promo. Arsenal had two before. Arsenal had two in Team of the Year. Why can't we have two? I hope they do it. I hope they do. Anyway, guys, look, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you for watching. Uh, there won't be one tomorrow because the Man United game's on. However, like I say, there'll be a video on the channel. And also the second channel will have a video in it. If you need the link for the second channel, if you're interested, I can try and drop it in the chat. Link wasn't working earlier, but let's see. All right, no, it's still not letting me do it. Uh, that's the name. The second channel may be boring, but I love some fishing games. Okay. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, and yeah. See you all probably on Monday, but I'll be in the comments and stuff on the videos tomorrow, so. Yeah, by all means, Bienu, send over any suggestions you've got. Feel free to DM me on Twitter. Um, and I can look for them for sure. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good evening and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.